Okay, so you have now reached Libya. Mm -hmm. Now what happened in Libya? In Libya, when we were there, it was a, it's a long story. It was, it was not very, it was not easy to. Uh, and then we faced so many, so many many different uh, difficult things there. How long did you stay in Libya? In Libya, I, I stayed there for one more, one year, eight months, something like that. Wow, the longest. Yeah. Because of, why so uh, long? Yeah, because sometimes we used to go to job. When we go to job, sometimes we met with the, the asthma people, the asthma boys. What's asthma boys? Uh, it's their young boys who What's used that? to who used to carry their guns and then go inside the street with their cars. And then when they see us moving, going going home from job, going home. They used to call you and then when they call you, they ask you, they will say they need someone to work. They have job in their home. So sometimes if you did not, even if you refuse to go with them, they will catch you and then push you inside the car. Then they take you, they remove all your clothes, they take all of the money. Sometimes if you are lucky, they will not do anything to you. But sometimes if you are not lucky, they will beat you and then put you in their little rooms and then as you do what uh, as how we call it kidnap they can kidnap you there take your money and then they ask you for another money also we used to face all these those things there sometimes if you are not lucky they can shoot you on your leg and then they broke your leg and no one will talk even on the high road uh, on, even on the main road People will be seeing, they will doing everything they want to do, but no one talks. So that is why we spend a long time there. And then sometimes when even we are sleeping inside our rooms, they used to attack us inside our rooms. They used to attack us with their guns. Sometimes it used to be, I don't know whether police or not police, but they wear the police uniform. Then sometimes it will be late late night around four o'clock the two times when they attack us it was the first one was four o'clock and then the other one was five o'clock in the morning when people are from Damascus, they attack us there that is why me i stopped sleeping at night i was there it was very very hard so i decided that and then i say i cannot sleep anymore at night, I did not sleep. When everybody is inside the room, me, I take the gas, I take my cooking pot of tea, we call it attire, side. And then I go and sit outside. Only me. Since 11 o'clock at night, up to 6 o'clock. If I look the time, oh, I hear, uh, people spraying in, uh, at the most, I know that they will not come. But if I don't hear that, I used to sit there up to 6 o'clock, and then I go and sleep. And then the first day when they attacked us there, it was not easy. Uh, they, they attack us inside the, the compound, and then some people run and then climb up climb up the how to call it the roof upside where you can see some people will jump and then their leg will broke some people's their hands will broke two hands their two hands will broke and then even when you are broken they will not forgive you they will just catch if, if at all example your hand is broken or your leg is broken the one which is bro broken that is the one they used to cut and then they push you. They will catch you and then forcing you and then drop you inside the, the car. Sometimes you can see their, their boss will tell them, no, these people, they have already wounded, leave them here. And then they will remove you from the car and then they throw you down. Now. They throw you down. So we are there like that every time, like that, every time, like that.
It was very, 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 very hard there. How did you cross Libya to Italy then? From Libya, me, I, I tried two times. How? You were flying or you were jumping no. in the water? Or? No, in the water. We come in the water by the Viper. By the? Viper, Viper. We call it Viper. It's a boat? It's a boat, yeah. It's a boat which used to Who carry... Who gave you the boat? It's the Libyans. Libyans, they pay for it. Yeah, they are the one who used to buy it and then they carry everybody, put it inside. They will pump it by the air gas. And then they might sometimes it's a plastic if you are, boat. Yeah, it's a plastic boat. They used to put the plywood there and then they make it and then they pump it, we all enter inside. How many people? Uh, for us, our boat is 105 people. Our boat was 105 people. If all I Africans? Didn't, yeah. All Africans, but sometimes it's you to have these electrician peoples and then who the electria peoples, Eritrean, electricians, and then the Somalians also. Because the first one which I was supposed to enter, we came up to the sea. I spent at the seaside. I spent two months there. Even to take bath is a problem. Two months I I did not take bath. All of us inside the that place at the seaside because okay, because the libyans were at the room they they leave us we were more than 500 people it is not uh, for only one libyan they, they they make it a joint business this one will bring 200 people this one bring 100 people this one bring two, 200 250 it depends on the amount you have so we were there and then every day they tell us the weather is not good. Sometimes they tell us today you will move or tomorrow you will move, you will not move. We spend two good months there. Even to have food is a problem. To have food is a big problem. And then sometimes when the blacks who carry us go to that side at the sea, Sometimes they will bring one bag of rice or two bag of rice. And we cannot eat, some others did not eat. So we share it together. Sometimes you can have bread. If I told your friend is inside the city, you call him to help you and buy biscuits, bread, something like that, or coffee, this Lipton. If you are lucky, you have that one. Every time you will have something to eat. But the Lipton, only one Lipton, if I have it, you can see 10 people or more than 20 people, all of them will come and sit there. If I boil it, the first one, I remove it, the other one will take it, and then you will see people will say, please, if you are ready, only one Lipton, we see it might be 20 people, just for you to have the hot water. We don't have sugar there. This is how we make it. And then some will even go and cut the leaf. That, uh, there is one tree, we call it mentlato. The leaf used to be so long. Yeah. We used to take that and then boil it so that we can have hot water to drink. Because if, if for me, if I drink that one, I can go up to late night, no problem. If I eat just a little, I can go up to late night. But so many people suffer there because of hunger. And then you did not have the fit to go outside and say you are going to the shop. If they see you that day, they will, do, they will beat you until you die. So we all scare about them because they are little children. They are little children. They do whatever they want to do. So, we are there like that. Sometimes when we cook, as I told you, they bring the rice and then put it there, sometimes one bag, sometimes two bag. And then when we cook it, you can see even, uh, how to call it, the little, the little bowl, that we, the little plate that we eat right now, it is for nine people. The group chat, I have to put you inside the group chat. If you write them nine, nine, 
you will hear all of them will comment. They will start laughing because they know that sign, nine nine. It's nine people. Sometimes if you put your hand once and then you you take the rice once, you cannot get the second one. It's finished. This is how we make it. But we manage it. If I have only one and then I drink water, I say thank God. And then that place also to have a, uh, to sleep is a big problem because we were more than 500 there, and then that hole is not very very big. If it is five o'clock, you run and enter inside. If you don't enter inside, you will not have a place to sleep. You will be outside. You go and look for firewood because whenever it is dark, they leave us to go out and find firewood. We boil it. But it was very very cold it was at the cold season and then it was very very cold so we go and look for firewood so that we can make the fire and then we sit there you understand if it is five uh, six o'clock seven you don't enter inside you will not have a place and then even if you have a place they give you the respect no one will sleep at your place if it is six up to seven you want to enter inside the hole is a big problem you walk on people's you walk on people's to go we used to sleep like this if i bed like this the other ones head will come like this you your head come like this just like the sardine how they put the sardine so somehow you managed in the boat and then how long was the trip to with you uh, uh the the it was uh, seven hours. Seven hours? Seven hours, eight hours. And then when you come to Italy, then what happened? They catch uh, you or? Yes, when we came to Italy, the Italian people were close. For them also, I would like to say, I would like to say thank you very much because they saved our life. They, they were not cruel to you like in Africa? No, 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 no. Even when I, when for, for me, when I saw them, I was scared because how the others were treating us. That is why still now, if I see a human being, I used to be scared. I have a border with him. Maybe if I see this you up to two months or three months, I can know that, yes, this man, I can go with him. But I am scared of those people because I suffered there a lot. So it was not easy there.